Hey everyone, Porsche Racer 14 here, and I thought I'd share replay of a new ship I just got into. Been slowly working my way up uh, the Russian cruiser line, and here we are with the Kirov. Now it's a stock ship, first uh, maiden voyage in it. Uh, captain's still in retraining, so not too many. Um, skills are going to be, or stats are going to be really buffed on this ship. So, here we go. Um, took me a while to get here. I have to say, the Sviatlana um, just wasn't a fun ship. The accuracy in the guns weren't that great. They had okay when they hit something, I guess. Um wasn't really good to maneuver very bad turning circle it just yeah even going up against like tier 3 ships like the St. Louis and Bogotir it it was a hard challenge um, got a few good rounds before I sold it and moved my captain onto this ship so that kinda helped but uh, definitely glad to be off that ship which, coming off of, I guess, the previous kind of turn of the century cruisers, this one feels a little bit more modern. Uh, the torpedoes, again, on this thing, um, they're mostly defensive. They don't do a whole bunch of damage. They don't go a real long distance. Guns seem better. Traverses, it's okay. I mean, definitely better than something like the Fudutaka. So, since this is base capture mode, I'm just gonna go out here east a little ways and see see where the enemy's pushing down here. And we got our first customer here. Now the HE damage still seems to do pretty good. Oh, well, we found one of the destroyers. Of course, of course, when I go to shoot, it's gone. Uh, such is the luck, and oh, I gotta get out of here. All right, let's let's cut speed, make a tight, tight, tight turn. Uh, Mr. Omaha. Yikes. That being said, I think I kind of lured them out a bit, so hopefully our battleships can do something. Ah, oh, come on, man. Hmm. Still have HE loaded. I didn't know if he's gonna come back, but oh well. But anyways, this reminds me of uh, after moving up from the Cleveland, finally. I still have the Cleveland, I just put a new captain on and moved up to the Pensacola. It, <laughs> this ship kind of reminds me like a baby Pensacola. Uh, don't show your side, and 15 second reload on the guns. Which, they can be pretty punchy. Um, the ship is kind of unique in that it has, well, it has really good range for tier 5. <laughs> I mean, it puts my marble head to shame. Or or Omaha's, uh, to that matter. Or Not quite the Mermont's. Mermont's is still tough. But... And you also have a spotter plane to extend the range even more. So, I'm just looking over here to help speed up the turret rotation. And let's see if we can find something else to engage over here. But, so far, for the first couple minutes of playing with this, uh, definitely enjoy it. And what else we got out here? Oh, hey! Found their destroyers. Or some of them at least. Is he just sitting there? I think he is. Uh, oh well. Maybe he might take off. I don't know. I think that's what I was anticipating. That he's gonna start moving forward. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Oh well. Uh, maybe this guy... he's not burning. I mean, the battleship is not on fire. That's just not right. It's not right. Oh, wow. Uh, I think he's... 
think he's getting out of there. He's turtling. Get some more fires on this guy. I'm trying to work the shells around. Ah. Yeah, he's turning hard. He's he's getting out of there. Uh oh. Shells incoming. Ah, Cleveland. Well, kinda glad I slowed down a bit. Oh, another fire. Nice. That'll stick around for a bit. Alright, time to change angle. Got everything trying to shoot at me here. And pick up nice, another fire. I think the fire chance on here is pretty decent. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cleveland. Hmm. I'm trying to keep a distance here, but I also kind of want to harass those ships coming down the east side. Because we really have no one over there. Uh-oh. Well, this sucks. <laughs> didn't didn't expect a destroyer to be there. Yikes. Yeah, I I realize this. <laughs> just just got myself. Is he slowing down? Oh, his engines got knocked out. I'm trying to get some shells in on there. Uh oh. I think their team shooting at me. Torpedoes to starboard. Oh. Torpedoes direct front. Hydro, yes. Uh oh. Oh, don't take broadside. Holy smokes. Man. That was like one or two shells. Ah, uh, white oh, new ship, widespread. Jeez. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Just stay away from me, dude. Just stay away from me. All right, we gotta do some tactical beaching. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Cause I still want to keep my ah, jeez. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Well, team got him anyways. Yikes. Ah. Fires. Nope, we can't afford to burn out right now. Who's shooting fire at me? Ah, it's probably that Cleveland. Alright, buddy. Alright. I'm gonna sail that way. I'm gonna try to fling some armor piercing at you. Good. Now you know what it's like to go on fire. Actually, you think that fire's gonna stick? Ah, nope. He put it out, and he's turning back in. Hmm. All right. He's doing the wiggle here. Let's see if we can catch him on one. Come on. Nice. Huh? You know what? I think the armor piercing on here is not too bad. I mean, if you can punch into Cleveland, because Cleveland's pretty dang tough. I think you're doing pretty good. Uh oh. Come on. Ah. Switching shells on bloody day. I think maybe that's one skill I might put on this. We'll see. And of course, I go to fire and lost track of them. Alright, what else we got around here? What is our battleship doing in there? Oh, okay. Anything else nearby here? No, he's moving off. What else we got up here? I really don't want to switch my guns around. I'll flip them around. Might just ha oh. Well, not the correct shell type, but. Anything into that guy is better than nothing. 
Jeez. Still no clue why our battleship pushed up there. But whatever. Can't can't save everybody. So I'm very low health. Jeez. Trying to go for this Farragut, I mean, that's gonna be the most immediate threat. He's got torpedoes. Or, sh or should. I mean, the Omaha has torpedoes too. I don't know. Ah, he's churning. Yeah, kinda figured that was gonna happen. Oh, 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 oh. This is Omaha. Uh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, come on. I just wanna get this round off. Give him everything. Oh. Well, I wasn't the only one that caught him in a turn. Okay. I think that Omaha's pretty much done. Uh, the Nimbig. Ah, he's churning. What else? I think there's something off to my left. Find him? No, we gotta. Is this guy gonna keep turning around? Ah, oh, he is. Come on. Just gotta get past this island here and start turning. Nice! wonder how these are gonna go. Nope, oh, they look good. Yep. See ya, bud. I figured... Ah, oh, Farragut? Come on, man. Jeez. Not much armor on this thing. Not when uh, Farragut shooting armor piercing can... pound into you. Jeez. Ah, he's gonna churn. Jeez. Alright, just, just get away, just get away. Doesn't feel like chasing. What the heck? Alright, what? Ah, of course, of course. Uh, here's my tactical torpedoes. Alright, time for hydro. Where are you? He's gonna want to come around the edge and torpedo me or something. What the heck? I went to go zoom in and I'm looking at the top of the island. Jeez. Oh, with a 15 second reload, I can't afford to. Oh, holy smokes. And I can't angle in. What the? Oh, flip. Well, I guess we helped out our teammate. Good. Good riddance. I think the only other one is somewhere up at their camp somewhere. But yeah, um, much, much better ship than the Svetlana. Already just a stock ship. Just way, way better. Guns are punchy. Um, suggested captain's perks are buff up the turret rotation. Um, I'm guessing ship survivability would be good. It has okay AA on the B hull. It's still not going to be um, kind of. It's not going to be an AA escort or or an AA platform or anything like that, but it's decent. It, you can at least keep um, planes off your ship at least, or limit the amount of torpedoes or dive bombers attacking you. Turns okay, 
Uh, guns, like I said, th they're punchy as long as you got the right ammo type loaded. HE seems to do really well. Uh, dispersion, I think, is for the range that you get out of it, out of the box, uh, really well. You got no problems with it. Overall, I think it's a pretty darn good ship for Tier 5. Um, I think Omaha's have a lot of problem with it, just just because of range. I mean, every range is everything in this game. If, if I can get beyond your range or at your outside your max range or close to it, and hide behind an island and lob shells over or whatever, I think that 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 changes a lot of things. I mean, that being said, armor armor's weak. It's you're not going to bounce much, you're not going to stop much, you just got to avoid getting hit. But, um, I thought I'd leave the rest of this match in here, because Fuzo sure had a heck of a game. And there's not too much left here. <laughs> Telling the Zuo to go in for the ramp. <laughs> I thought it would be something entertaining, but I guess not. Uh, he has other plans. Because he's been... torpedoing the heck of our out of our... war spite up there. And... I think that's it for our war spite. Bugiani, get your shells off! Come on! Before he dies! Ah! There we go. Yeah, the Kirov. Definitely a solid ship. If you haven't considered the Russian line, and you're stuck at, this, at this Vietlana, just move past it, and you'll have great success. That's me signing out, and I'll see you on the high seas, everyone.